Hello everyone. In a previous uh, video, we learned the concept of SVM, the support vector machines. Now we are going to solve an example on it. So we are given with this data. Uh, we can see that this is the data. 2, 2, 2, minus 2, minus this all data. And it is a positive labeled data. Positive labeled data, uh, why we have got this positive labeled or negative labeled data? Because we know that in SVM, it is basically a supervised model. So of course, the data which is given to you, it will be a labeled data. Now, right, uh, I can draw a graph for this data like this. Now, just tell me, is it possible that we can segregate this data with the help of a line? Because if I draw a line over here, still there will be a lot of a confusion between the positive label data and the negative label data. So how am I going to segregate it? Uh, in order to segregate it, I'm going to take help from support vector machine. And I'm going to change, uh, basically, uh, change the dimensions of this data. Uh, for this purpose in this question I am provided with this function this is the function which says that if the value of sum of the two coordinates like these are the two coordinates if the sum of these two coordinates is uh, larger than 2 then use this equation to transform the data otherwise simply uh, keep the data as it is so this is the function that is given to us for the transformation uh, so let's uh, do it for the positive uh, labeled classes and then we will do it for the negative labeled classes so well uh, doing starting it for the positive labeled classes first first of all we have got um, x1 4 minus 2 plus 2 minus 2 getting the answer like 2 similarly for x2 4 minus 2 2 minus 2 and uh, it is coming out to be 2 so you know if uh, i sum up these points two and two their squares and under root them it is coming out to be under root eight and under root eight is larger than two that is why i had used this equation uh, this equation similarly for the next data points again i am placing the value of the next data points which were two and minus two in this equation and I solved them and I'm getting answer 10 and 6 again the sum of these data points was larger than 2 that is why I have used this equation uh, the, so the data is transformed from 2 minus 2 into 10 and 6 similarly the third data points are also transformed from minus 2 minus 2 into 6 6 and the fourth data points are also transformed from minus 2 2 into 6 and 10 now coming on to the negative data points you can see that if i take uh, squares and sum of any of these datas and under root them uh, this will never be larger than 2 as per the condition given to us in the function so we will use this uh, representation for the negative labeled class so this means the data points will uh, stay the same as they were earlier so on the basis of uh, this transformation, then I'm going to do a new plotting for the data. So the new plotting will be something like this, that the positive points which are indicated with this red square will move on to new points because now they are uh, 2, 2. This point is representing 2, 2. 10, 6. Uh, this point is representing 10, 6 and uh, 6 6 this point is representing 6 and 6 and 6 10 so this point is representing 6 on x axis and 10 on y axis so this is the new representation of the positive labeled points and the negative label points are still there so uh, now can you imagine that what uh, can be the decision boundary which can segregate these data points so well uh, first of all let's identify Maybe you can be asked at what are the support vectors. So see the points which are closest. Uh, if I like place a line over here, then the points which will be closest to that line will be called support vectors. So my support vectors are um, S1 is 1, 1 and S2 is 2, 2. So these are the support vectors. These are the support vectors. If I add a bias with them, we can augment both these vectors with a value 1 uh, then the support vectors will become like this 
so this is um, all for the simple application of support vector uh, model where we have actually classified or we have uh, made this uh, otherwise very erroneous data to be possible to be segregated by a line and if I uh, place a line here you can see that 3 will be my bias because the line will cross somewhere like this so if you like this video do share it with your friends so that they can also be helped out and uh, do like the video and subscribe it thank you so much Allah Hafiz